that's what's brewing. Season 2 is in the oven for Apple TV+, and despite a brief intermission, the show is back in action. Hold on tight, this is no ordinary sequel. It's the continuation of the mind-bending, office-meets-sci-fi spectacle we all fell for. Now, let's talk about The Hollywood Strike, a plot twist even the scriptwriters didn't see coming. The industry hit pause, and Severance was caught in the crossfire. But fear not, our hero Ben Stiller took to the virtual stage, confirming the comeback with a touch of mystery, just like the show itself. The hiatus, the anticipation, and then Stiller dropping the news bomb on social media, echoing Apple TV's cryptic teaser. No spoilers, no spoilers, but Season 2 is a reality, my friends. So dust off your office chair and prep your cubicle for more bizarre corporate drama, because Severance is back in business, promising a sequel as wild and twisted as the first round. Get ready to dive deep into the enigmatic world of Lumen Corporation, where memories are sliced and personalities are diced, because the saga continues. All right, buckle up, fellow Severance geeks. The sequel is in the works for Apple TV+, and despite a little delay, Season 2 is shaping up to be a fuss, courtesy of the brilliant mind of Dan Erickson and the magic touch of Ben Stiller. Season 1 wrapped up with a jaw-dropping cliffhanger, paving the way for the next thrilling installment. Let's dive into the funky world of Lumen Corporation, where things get weirder than your wildest dreams. Severance's breakout success on Apple TV Plus? No surprise there. It's all about a sci-fi twist that splits your memories into an innie for the office and an outie for the real world. Yeah, it's memory mayhem! Our macro data refinement crew, those four severed innies, started out as rebels against the system. But guess what? That was just the warm-up. Season 1 ended with more questions than answers, leaving us hanging and hyped for Season 2. The excitement? Through the roof. Dan Erickson and brought to life by producer Ben Stiller, the first season of Severance left viewers hanging on a gripping cliffhanger, setting the perfect stage for the much-anticipated Season 2. The series gradually unveiled its dystopian science fiction world, painting the Lumen Corporation as a cult-like force using Severance technology to split an employee's memories and personalities into two distinct entities, an innie for the workplace and an outie for the external world, each without access to the other's experiences. Severance earned widespread acclaim on Apple TV+, Plus, thanks in no small part to its enthralling and mysterious premise that sparked a multitude of fan theories. The show artfully depicted the increasing curiosity and resentment of the four severed innies within the macro data refinement department towards the system they were entangled in. However, it became clear that the initial chapter of the story was just the tip of the iceberg, with many unresolved elements as the season concluded. Severance Season 2 is a go, confirmed by Apple in August 2022. Now, there was a bit of drama behind the scenes in April 2023 between showrunners Dan Erickson and Mark Friedman. But fear not, our hero Ben Stiller swooped in, reassuring fans that Season 2 is still on track. Let's talk cast. Familiar faces are making a comeback. Adam Scott is back as Mark, and Patricia Arquette is back in action as Harmony. Plus, there's a crew of eight new faces joining the party for Season 2, including Gwendolyn Christie, Alia Shawkat, and more. Variety spilled the beans. Now on to the juicy stuff, the story. Season 1 left us with the innies gaining control of their lives outside the office, thanks to Lumen Severance Chip's overtime contingency. Things are about to get wild, and Lumen has a rebellion on its hands. Mark's wife Gemma, now Miss Casey, and Lumen's bigger plans with the Severance Chips are still mysteries. Season 2 might just spill the beans and dig deeper into the lives of the Audis. Oh, and did you catch the hint about Helena Egan being the potential villain? So the finale kicks off with our innies nailing the overtime contingency thing, unlocking their bodies in the outside world. But hold up, R turns out to be Helena Egan, Lumen Industries' CEO James Egan's daughter. Crazy, right? Her being severed is like a wild publicity stunt to prove how safe severing is. But here's the twist. Severing is kind of cruel. Helena's innie is so desperate to escape that she tries to, you know, do something really drastic. But there's more to this. Helena might be doing all of this to make her dad proud and please her family. We get a peek into the Hall of Perpetuity, where all Lumen CEOs belong to the Egan family. Now, Helena's dad, James, tells her how her grandpa would be proud. Fun fact, 
The name Egan means the dark one, and Helena means shining light in Greek. Talk about opposites! But guess what? Heli literally means hellish, and there's a sneaky shot with the word hell in it. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, and in the break room, people hear weird stuff. Dylan hears a baby crying, maybe one of his kids, but Heli hears a grumbling angry man. Could it be her dad? Also, we catch up with Gabby and Angelo Arteta, big players in the Pro Severance game. Helena spills the beans at the Egan Gala, saying everything we know about Severance is a big fat lie. Now, let's talk about Irving, the rule follower in Lumen but a rebel on the outside. First off, he's got this cool dog named Radar. Do you remember him from Episode 3? A wellness meeting and the dog's a hit. Also, Irving's got military-looking medals. I wonder if he or his Navy vet dad earned those. But wait, there's more. Irving's got a chest of secrets. Newspaper clippings, a lawsuit against Lumen for workplace injuries, and a list of severed employees. Dylan G's there, but names like Miss Casey and Mark's wife Gemma are MIA. Irving's on a mission, and it seems like he's pals with Petey and Regabe, ex-Lumen folks wanting to expose Lumen's shenanigans. Petey even drops the best friend bomb. Irving's got a map of Keir, Pennsylvania, marking the locations of Keir employees. Coincidentally, Bert Goodman, a guy Irving's sweet on, is on the map. A lot of male names. It gets awkward later. Expect more of Irving's detective work in Season 2. Oh, big twist. Miss Casey, the wellness counselor, is Mark's wife Gemma. Mark learns this in Audi's world. Turns out Gemma's alive, and Mark chose Severance to escape the pain of her death. His first scene? A tearjerker in his car. Season 2 is bound to dig deeper into Irving's snooping and unveil more surprises. All right, let's wrap this up with a bang. Mark, dude, throwing away grief like a tissue into the receptacle? But hold up, Sis drops some wisdom. Severance is just a band-aid, not the real healing deal. Missing Gemma? Well, it seems like she's a mystery package, supposedly dead in a car crash, but Lumen might be cooking up some experiments with her. Now Miss Casey, the wellness counselor, car accident story? Fishy. She might be Lumen's permanent resident, never leaving that dark hallway with the one-way elevator. Imagine living in a constant state of severance. Creepy, right? Keir Egan, the big cheese at Lumen, dreams of everyone having severance chips. Total control freak vibes. And what's with those macro refinement numbers? Sorting them into sad, happy, scary, and angry. Keir believed these four temper types define people. Goats are popping up everywhere, symbolizing who knows what. Virility, sacrifice, or maybe just mischief. Enter Miss Kobiel, or is it Selvig? Confusing, right? She's a Lumen employee. Or is she? Shrine to Kier, or maybe it's her mom. Is there a revenge plot on Lumen for her mom's death? Epic twist! This lady might be Lumen's worst nightmare in disguise. And that baby-finding drama? Total child's play! Rickon's friends are clueless and childlike. Maybe they're severed folks reintroduced with wiped memories, hence their weirdness. Mark's like a fanboy meeting Rickon because his book is the anti-Lumen handbook. And that's what concludes today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.